Let's talk postpartum preeclampsia. I found out a week before having my son that postpartum preeclampsia was even a thing. I didn't even know that was possible. I did know about preeclampsia. I know a lot of people that have had it, so I was very aware of preeclampsia, but I wasn't worried about it because my blood pressure was amazing. So first of all, I'm just so happy that this mama was safe and she made it through. And thank you so much for sharing your story. It's so important because a lot of people don't know that postpartum preeclampsia even exists. And it does, it is very dangerous and it's often missed because you know, once you have the baby, everybody thinks everything is fine. But preeclampsia, which is high blood pressure of pregnancy, can happen postpartum and it can be anywhere from a week after the delivery up to six weeks. So the first thing to note, like this creator mentioned, it does not matter if your blood pressure was normal during the pregnancy, you can still get postpartum preeclampsia, especially if you already have risk factors. The second thing is that that one week after discharge, after you have the baby, is the highest risk time for you to get postpartum preeclampsia. A lot of seizures, which is what happens if preeclampsia is allowed to progress, actually happen in the postpartum period. So you really want to make sure that you look out for the signs because most of the people that come in seizing, they had symptoms, symptoms beforehand. They had a headache, they had blurred vision, spots in their vision. You know, those are the usually the highest one with headache being the number one. So you really want to look out for those signs. I'm glad this lady was safe and I hope this was helpful for anybody who needs it. Um, make sure you like and follow for more.